We're not transferring infection from yo to yo or from lamb to lamb in the feeding or the lambing process. Michael Gottstein, uh, Sheep Specialist with Chagask. I'm here today to talk about our tree bucket system for cleaning and sterilizing all your lambing equipment. So during lambing time, we're gonna have lots of different equipment. We'll have lamb pullers, lamb ropes, stomach tubes, syringes, bottle feeders. And it's important that basically once we use them, that we're able to properly clean them and sterilize them so that we're not transferring infection from yo to yo or from lamb to lamb in the feeding or the lambing process. So our first bucket basically consists of a bucket with some washing up liquid inside it, water, clean water and washing up liquid. And the purpose of this is really to clean everything. So we're cleaning our lambing ropes, we're cleaning our stomach tubes inside in this, um, our syringes by just basically sucking up um, and, and, and making sure that they're good and clean. Maybe having a brush as well for, for our, our bottles and our bottle feeders. Our second bucket in the system just contains clean water. That's all we have inside that. And really all we're doing here is we're rinsing out. We're just rinsing out the equipment, getting rid of the surplus suds and, and the washing up liquid. Our third bucket contains our sterilization fluid. So this is a five liter bucket. This sterilization fluid requires one cap full per five liters. It lasts for 24 hours, provided we keep it clean. And that's the reason why we're cleaning everything before we get here. And it sterilizes the equipment in 15 minutes. So all our equipment is basically put into this sterilizing fluid. Again, we need to suck the fluid up into the stomach tube. We need to suck it up into the syringes. If we're sterilizing our bottles, the same story, go through the three buckets. This is a clean bottle and then put it into the sterilizing fluid, fill it up to the top and then leave it inside there for 15 minutes. And once the 15 minutes is up, it'll be sterile. You can leave it in there for the day. And every morning then we change our, tr our tree buckets, empty out what's inside and refill them. And we're ready again for the next 24 up here. Just when we're using the, the equipment again, just empty out the sterilization fluid. There's no requirement to rinse it out. And we put our milk into that bottle or the same for the stone tube, just empty out the sterilization fluid, empty it out of the, out of the the actual tube as well and, and it's ready now for use.